Okay, Facebookers. Getting ready to make hot dog buns. Here's my ingredients. I got flour, yeast, one egg, olive oil, agave nectar. Oh, and I forgot. Kosher salt. So, and this is all you're going to need. And then I got my bread maker to mix it with. Um, I got a cup and a quarter of water. And I have a one teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon, a quarter cup, and a full cup for measuring. So you start out by microwaving your water for one minute, which will bring it up to almost exactly 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is a challah bread recipe. Um, it's a Jewish egg bread that you're supposed to braid, but I just really like the flavor and my family loves it too. So we use it for pretty much everything. We use it for pizza crust, hamburger buns, hot dog buns, bread. Pretty much everything. And we use uh, agave nectar instead of sugar because agave nectar uh, doesn't spike your sugar levels if you're diabetic. Um, and it's also, it's just... It's healthier for you than sugar, than refined sugar. So once we get going, this is pretty easy. This is going to be a rough edit, though. I'm going to be pausing instead of uh, editing. So it'll be stop and starts. So we got our water microwaved. Now, something I do is a little different. Okay, this is a one cup measuring cup. Um, these are like the ones my mom used to have when I was little. But if you fill it all the way up to the top of the glass, it's exactly one and a quarter cups. So, we did that. Now we're going to take our olive oil, which you can use whatever brand you want, but we use the uh, organic. And it's a quarter cup of olive oil. I'm going to use the olive oil first, and I'll show you why. So I'll put the olive oil in. Then I'm going to use my agave nectar, which like honey is really sticky. And so, because I use the olive oil first, it coats the measuring cup so that I can get all of the agave nectar out of it. Pretty spiffy, huh? Alright, so that's the agave nectar. Um, now, from the oil, agave nectar, water, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bust the egg in, open, and put it inside. And then, that's all of my wet ingredients. So from here, I'm going to go into my dry ingredients, which is going to be the flour first. Four cups of flour. I use organic, pretty much everything. The one thing that in this that isn't organic today is going to be the uh, the yeast. So there's one cup of flour. Two cups of flour. <laughs> so that's three cups of flour. And here's our fourth cup. Four cups of flour. Now, what you do is I pour that straight in, right? And then I go in and I make myself a little dimple in the center. Just like that. One teaspoon of kosher salt. 
There you go. And then I get my yeast. So I don't know what just happened. I had to set it down and I must have bumped the button. So now I'm going to go to. And a quarter teaspoons of Fleshman's dry yeast in my little volcano holder. And then I'm going to hit start and allow it to mix up. And then we'll come back in a little bit after it rises and we'll go from there. Hey, movie magic, check it out. This is what I just got out of my garden while the bread's, you know, stirring and mixing and all that. Um, this is red kale, and I've already taken it and uh, separated it, and I cut the stalks out. Um, but yeah, it's six inches tall, 18 inches across on my countertop. Um, now we just need to rinse it off. Um, what I did do is I went through and I cut out some of the yellow pieces, cut out the stalks, um, check for any kind of disease or if there were any like uh, stink bugs or anything attached to it. And then this is a whole bowl of basil and it's off of a basil plant that we thought was dead I was getting ready to pull it um, I had harvested some seed off the top of it earlier in the spring um, earlier in the summer I mean and now look at it I mean this is what I all pulled off so don't, don't always immediately just pull your, your plants out just because they look like they're dying a little bit of heat stress you give them a little extra water stuff like that they may come back just like our basil did um, and I'll probably get two more bowls three more bowls like that and that's just one basil plant that's not like I have a bunch of them out there um, yeah, red kale, basil, some okra um, that I pulled up over the last couple days. Um, and there's probably a good five or six pieces out there that I could go pull right now. Um, I have ten plants growing of okra, and they're almost as tall as I am now, and I'm five seven, so they're getting up there though. So yeah, that's the uh, that's what I just harvested. Now we just got to rinse it off. Um, and the wife wants me to make some kale chips, so does the daughter. And then she wants me to give some of this away. So if you're in the Hinesville area and you want some basil, fresh organic basil from my garden, let me know. Look, it's movie magic. It's in the bowl. I've already taken it out of the bread maker. It's starting to rise a little bit. I got my little wood cutting board that I prefer to use because I'm old school like that. And I got my flour on it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of flour on my hands so it doesn't stick so bad. And I'm going to get a small handful, about like the size of like a... Uh, a hacky sack or a handball. Okay, I'm gonna roll around on my on my on my board, and I'm gonna start rolling it out. And I'm gonna make it about the width here, all the way across, and then when I cut it in half, what'll happen is I'll have enough for two two buns, two hamburger hot dog buns, out of one piece. So. You don't need to get a little bit of flour in your hands each time. So it was funny because I was sitting around last night and my wife's like, I want chili dogs. Because we were watching Sonic the Hedgehog with my daughter on Netflix with our daughter. And uh, she's Sonic's favorite food is chili dogs. Well, we have this great place back home called Coney Island. And great hot dogs just great great chili dogs coney dogs and uh so she's like i want chili dogs i want coney dogs i've been craving them since we've been stationed here for like the last six and a half years and so there we go i'm like all right so she's like you're making hot dog buns figure it out and that's usually what she does to me she's like hey do you know how to do this no figure it out okay <laughs> and so <laughs> i'm just thinking to myself well hot dogs are you know hot dog buns okay it can't be that hard you know what i mean i've made hamburger buns for fun once before it can't be that difficult. Um, okay, so see, this one's getting really thin compared to my other ones. I'm not even... It's got really thin spots. I'm actually going to take that one and add a small pinch to it. Otherwise, that one won't rise right, and it'll be really narrow. It'll end up like a breadstick. And so you just do that, and then start rolling it out again. Okay. 
So, but yeah, we were watching that, and my wife's like, I want, I want chili dogs. I want chili dogs. You gotta make hamburger hot dog buns. You gotta make hot dog buns. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll make hot dog buns, whatever. I told her I wasn't gonna, which of course that's me saying, yes, I will. <laughs> um, but at least it makes me feel like I've got a little bit of say so. Um, now, by the way, my wife's holding the camera, and I'm probably gonna get beat later. So, anyway. She made her own little Coney Island sauce. Did, I think. Did you look it up on the internet a little bit? I just looked up a few, a few reci different recipes to yeah. see what like the main ingredients, just to get a base. Right. And but then you know, of course, I, after that. I always do my own thing. Right, right. And so I just took my challah bed recipe, which is an egg bread, um, which I told you about before earlier on, um, and I just take it and I modify a little bit of just the way I do the bread. So instead of braiding it, I'll make, you know, I'm making these little cylinders. And that was my daughter. Um, and apparently the chili dogs have gotten to her. So. Oh, one more flower. It's getting sticky. No, I did have two today. She did have two today. And apparently she had two today, too. So. But, uh, so yeah, we're making, you know, chili dogs, and now she's like, last night, she's all like, I'm satisfied. I've had enough. No. I'm good now. For about another year. No. Oh, they will be made again before then, for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. And so tonight, I believe we're going to make some knockwurst. Mm. Do we have some knockwurst? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to have some Hebrew National Knockwurst, which I don't really know what knockwurst is. Um, it's beef, so, and it's kosher. And so, but with the challah bread, what makes it specifically challah bread is two things. is the fact that it's made with egg, so it's an egg bread, and then you braid it. But the only thing I'm not doing is braiding it. You know, we're just making basically individual pieces of the braid, and then we're going to let them rise. I'm going to cut them, and then I'm going to let them rise. And as they rise, they'll basically become what I need for hot dog buns. So this is about a full loaf of bread recipe. And as I'm scooching, you see I'm scooching everything over here a little bit because I want to make room for everything because I can get about nine and that gives me 18 buns. Because like I said, I'm going to cut all of these in half. Which I think I may have done. Yeah, I got a little overzealous on this one. And so I'm only going to get 16. So, but I may not end up, we had a lot of skinny ones last time that ended up more like breadsticks. Yeah. So I think this may be a better, a better batch. So, like I said, I'm just going to let these rise for just a little bit. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut them, and then I'm going to place them onto my cooking trays. So let me get my knife. Hold on. Okay, you ready? Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to go about center and just cut them. It's not perfectly measured, but I'm just eyeballing it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not. I'm not selling these at some high style restaurant or something. You know what I mean? Where I got to measure out the ounces of beef and all that stuff. Are you making a video? Yes, I am, sweetheart. Hi! You're yelling again. Yay! <laughs> okay, so, so these just... are about. I just farted in the middle of a video. <laughs> and now you just talked about it. <laughs> so now I have 16 buns. And getting all the extra dough off my hands. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some aluminum foil. Scoot back, baby girl. Go watch your show. Okay. Bye-bye. So now... I'm going to aluminum foil my trays here. Because I don't have enough room on just one of these. 
put all of them. Also helps for easy cleanup. Yes. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take them, I'm going to line them in on my tray. I'm going to give them a little bit of room to expand, of course. Okay. As you can see, they're already starting to rise and expand from when I first put them down. But as I move them, they're going to fall a little bit. And then I'm going to put, what I'm going to do here is, I don't use, I don't like tap water because it's got a lot of fluoride and other stuff in it. So I'm going to take these in the kitchen. And I'm going to get me a bottle of Dasani water because it has no fluoride in it. Of course, you can use any bottled water you want, if you like, or you can use tap water, if that's what you like. But I get myself a small bowl, pour in some water, and then I can get my oven to 375. I'm going to get me two, three, four paper towels. Get them wet, squeeze the water out, open them back up, and I'm going to cover each one of my bugs, my hot dog ones. What that does is that keeps the dough from drying out, because right now as the oven's heating, I have hot air coming out from here, it's blowing out, and it gives a little bit of warmth to the yeast, which helps it rise quicker. So they're going to sit here for probably 20, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Depends. This seems to be a little bit of a better batch than what I made last night. Um, and so... I have a feeling these may raise a little, rise a little quicker. So I may get them in the oven a little sooner. Ah, bad thing with cheap paper towels. But like I said, this keeps them from drying out while they're rising, which you don't want because then they'll get really nasty when they cook, when they bake. And I need probably two more paper towels. I want to keep everything covered. heat on everything and they're gonna sit here for about like I said 20 minutes I'm gonna check on them every five minutes um, and then we'll be back and we'll show you what we do before and we'll show you what we do before we put them in the oven okay so we're back this is my melted butter and I'm going to Put 
butter on each one. Now they're not done rising because when I put them in the oven, they're going to rise even more. So what I'm doing right now is just getting them to be nice and toasty on the top. And so my oven's preheated at 375. I'm going to put them in for about 20 minutes because they're smaller pieces of bread so they won't take as long. Now I used about a third of a stick of butter and as you can see it's almost exactly enough to butter what I need. So I have very little wasted on this. So what I'm going to do now, open up. Oven light, timer. And we'll be back in a little bit when we pull them out. Alright, so hasn't been a full 25 minutes, it's been about 20, 21 minutes. And this is what we got. Look at that. These are beautiful. So they're little, you know, of course they're not made in a factory, so. They're not perfect, but they work really, really well. Nice and light, fluffy. So when they cool down here just a little bit, I'll show you how to cut them. Ooh. So, that's a little better than last time. So, now, the best way to cut these. Take your good bread knife, of course. This one. Put it up on side. Go down to about right there. And that leaves you enough room to where you can just open up to get your hot dog in and it doesn't break the bread. Or you can prop them up, put a pencil or a Sharpie marker on each side, and basically cut down until you touch it. And then that'll give you your a good distance down inside the bread. So, but there you go. There's your hot dog bun. Now we need hot dogs. Now we need hot dogs. <laughs> That's it. Thanks.